Okay, so this is Gamer Dom, and I thought I'd show this quick replay of a game I played um, earlier uh, yesterday. I think it was. Anyway, when doesn't matter when. Um, but this was, and yeah, another one of my rants against XVM. There you go. There's the first thing. One of our players has said 29%. So I don't have XVM for overall wind chance set up on my uh, computer. I have it. Um, for the end of the game, so I know what the final, well, at the end of the game, what the chances were at the beginning of the game, if you know what I mean. Um, but I don't in the minute because it really gives, really annoys me. I just think, you know, the 29%, so they're already convinced they're going to lose. So, what's the point of playing if you're going to give up like that? And I'm in, a, I'm in top tier heavy. I'm in the Tiger, uh, Tiger One, which is the tier seven German heavy. I've come out to the left flank um, because it has a really good view range and a good um, accurate gun but nobody's come out here. Couple, the Churchill uh, 7 has gone and camped as has the T-3485. Everything else is um, lemming trained over the other way. So I'm a bit fed up, you know, I said I'll give up then. <laughs> and then I say, well we have, because they sort of already have. There's nobody's come out there, and I know where I'm going out there on my own. So I decide, right, I'll just set up back here at the railway line, and just see, buys time really, see whether those guys lemming training the other way can actually um, do a good job. Um, I have coated optics on this tank, so my view range is pretty reasonable. Um, but we'll just sit here, see what we can do. I've already told the RT move, because there's only me and those that Churchill and that T-34 um, on this side. Everything else is three line over and we're one tank down, down already. So 29% everything's lemminged one way. It's going to be great isn't it? Oh there you go. I'll just tell the RT now to, to move. So we've got, what have we got? Uh, Panzer 38 uh, Scout coming through the middle. So I pull back just to see if I can get a shot in, but this seems like they've got him covered. Oh, and look, there's a Skoda come round to the front. So I swing my gun round, miss the first shot. He's firing AP Sun, knocks out my ammo rack, he's hit me twice. Can I finish him off? Someone else has hit him. Something wrong with the recording there. The um the arrow well the targeting wasn't on him. So they know I'm here. I've taken two APCR hits from that T-25. Uh, so I'm just moving around. There's two artillery in play on their side as well, so I don't really want to keep my position the same. So I should have disappeared by now, hopefully. So I'll go back to this. This flatbed here on this train is actually pretty good. And finally, there's somebody coming over to help me. Air Max is coming this way. And to be fair to the guys who lemming the other way, they're winning that flank, but then they should do. They had pretty much our entire tank force against, I don't know what the enemy had down there, but um, oh, the tree just went down in front of me there, where I'm, and there's a T-29. Now I can't pen him. No way I can pen him, unless he sticks enough up above the crest, which he did, but I didn't manage to pen him. And I actually bounced a shot from him. There's two of them here. Can I get a shot on this guy? No, he's not showing me enough. This guy, however, has turned his side, but I missed him again, so no much luck here. Can I hit him one more time? And I went for the tracking shot. I'd hoped to get some damage, but I didn't. Someone's firing at me. Ooh. And finally I get hit, but I get hit by the other T-29, and I lose my gunner. We are 6-3 up, um, so we're doing okay. Another hit by the T-29. Um... Did I hit him? No, I don't think I did. Someone else hit him. So I'm I'm locking him in place at least, and I'm trying to get shots through the railway car, but there's no way I'm going to pen him. Unless I get very, very lucky and hit the top of his commander's hatch. At 6-4, I'm holding up against pretty much everything I can see here. I bounced off the frontal armour of the T-29 with the 88mm, which is pretty bad luck. And I'm just bouncing and bouncing and bouncing, really. But... I'm holding them, I'm holding them, and that's the key thing. And slowly they're beginning to come back. So we've lost the Churchill, we've lost the T-3485. 
Amex uh, uh, 12 ton has come back which is good and I think I'm getting far from the um, Japanese Tiger like, oh I finally got a shot into that T29 and he's been absolutely whacked by I presume our artillery that was more luck than judgment and there we go we've beaten off both those T29s now looking the map pretty sure there isn't an awful lot over on our left flank now I've taken a lot of hits where do they all go in? oh look at that just, <laughs> just completely pep that just shows how appalling the armour on the Tiger one is I mean they've just hit me well there's two in the, two through, three through the turret two through the flat bit of the front of the armour and one through the lower plate there you go one, two, three, four, five hits. Okay, so we're pushing up. There's a M6 over there. Can we get a shot in with this gun? This gun is wonderfully accurate. There we go. Well, it had been. It is normally. It hasn't been in this game so far. But uh, so the MX has spotted. It's it's getting a bit tight now. It's uh, eight to nine, eight to nine. So, but you know, oh, nine all now. So it's beginning to look a bit more like the 29 percent it was supposed to be. But crucially, we've still got. Uh, both of our artillery well they've got both of their artillery but we've got both of ours and one of them is those Fre it's the French Le v v v v v v v v um, who is amazingly accurate and very fast firing Can we get a shot in the M6 as he comes up he's being killed by the 12T so good job 12T so at this point I know that the, their HTC is down the two line um, and I'm not sure that the, the well I'm pretty sure the, the Japanese Tiger can't deal with him uh, the KB2 probably can but he's got no visibility so I'm going to come down and try and support them and leave the 12T to see what he can do and see if he can clear up their artillery he played a pretty good game that guy really in fact more than a pretty good game a very good game uh, he's already got three kills in this um, I've only done just under a thousand damage I haven't done much but sometimes it's not about how much you actually do um, it's about how you play the how you play it and I think by getting in that hold down position I stopped them in the tracks to be fair they only sent three tanks on that flank if they'd sent more they would have swamped me so there's the HTC and hit there goes the HTC and that's the French artillery again so I'm going to come over here I'm trying to get a peaky shot on that oh and then I see the RT ah, I'm having no luck hitting the um, T29s am I but uh, RT had a shot on me but missed can we get a shot in on him oh. the um, Japanese Tiger killed him so we're 12-9 and I'm going to go and help oh no who's to my right to my left rather and he's coming in behind me and I've only just noticed him now as he hits me the SU right behind me and that, oh but thank goodness for that the KV-2 puts one right through his back doors and wipes him out in one shot and there you have it we're pretty much game over we've won a 29 percenter and we have won the 29 percenter so there you go that's how you win a 29 percenter now I'm not going to say I had a great game here because I didn't um, I had an okay game but I played the game didn't worry about the odds I played it as I saw it I saw the fact that there was nobody um, heading out on our on our left flank just me uh, um, I wasn't going to go on my own it was just stupid so I turned around came back got myself in a nice defensive position behind that railway track um, behind that railway car where I could actually try and do some and just hold them up to allow our Leving train to win the flank they were attacking that T at uh, 12 T came back and did a fabulous job so um, let's have a look at where we finished up yeah so I was one two three fourth on the team in terms of experience um, 758 um, basic XP what was it second class mastery and a spotter I found that amazing that's the second class mastery because that wasn't a brilliant game and it's a second class just shows Tiger is a really tough tank for people to use um, and what's that spotter yeah so we did a lot of spotting well one tank <laughs> um, 
Fired 15 shots, hit with 11 of them, but only penned with 5. So that's because we were firing a lot of times at that uh, at those T29s that were uh, in an ideal situation from them. They were just showing their turrets, which uh, are phenomenally powerful, really strong, really hard to penetrate. So, you know, but we were keeping them busy, and that was the whole point. So less than 1,000 damage. Uh, we received 8 hits, 6 of which penetrated and 2 didn't. It was probably only that T25 shots at the beginning that didn't, and that's why, and then he changed the premium. Um, we did uh, 1,300 assistance damage, which is all good. Uh, 34,000 credits after expenses, 17,000 profit. It was uh, times two, so 2,200. But my point is, don't worry about XVM. Just play the damn game. You know... Yes, 29% is a pretty horrible win rate. Um, but if you don't know and you just play the game, then, you know, things like that one come off. And we actually won. So, you know, just play the damn game. Turn the Do me a huge favour and turn your XV, if you've got XVM on, turn it to the setting that only allows it to give you the results after the game, or the, the percentage chance after the game. So I think that's way more fun. You play the game, you, you get the end result at the end, and you think, well, I played that pretty well, and it comes up and you only had a 30% chance to win. And you go, wow, that was fantastic. We, we did a really good game. Other times when you lose one, and you think, oh, I really should have won that, and then you get the result back, and it's a 70%, a and you're damn right you should have won it. So, you know, just but just play the game. Don't get hung up about it. Luckily, nobody really gave up in that game. I have seen it before now where people go, oh, 29%, and they go and chuck themselves into a lake or something. Um, luckily, none of these guys did. Kudos to that uh, 12 ton. He did a fantastic job. Came back, helped me out, no end, and he got some good old results. Look at that. Yeah, so, anyway, it's been a game of Dom. Thanks for watching. Turn your XVM off. Play the game. Just enjoy the game. Remember, it is only a game, and it's not that serious. Be careful out there. Enjoy yourselves. See you again.